If you caught my previous video where I shared different ways to design graph guns, you might remember that I briefly mentioned Canva as a fantastic option for those who aren't confident in drawing their own designs. Well, today we are taking a deep dive into that topic. Designing your own graph guns can be really rewarding, and Canva's user-friendly and versatile tools make the process smoother than ever. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be recreating my moon and hair blanket. Now, this design was originally drawn by me, but I'm going to show you how you can achieve similar results in Canva. So if you're ready to get started, head over to canva.com and create an account. Once you've done that, you'll be brought to the dashboard where you can see any of your previous designs and create a brand new design. To do that, click on create a design in the top right hand corner and you can see it's got a bunch of different design sizes that you can choose from. So you've got Instagram post, you've got an A4 document, but we're going to come right down to the bottom and click custom size. You can see on the right hand side we've got a drop down box where you can choose the units of measurement. Now the blanket that I made is 60 by 50 inches, however Canva doesn't let you go over about 42 inches so I'm going to create this design in centimetres because it won't actually make any difference. I'm going to put 60 in the width and 50 in the height and then I'm going to click on create new design and you can see it has created a blank page for us to work with. Now the first thing about the moon and hair blanket is that it has a pink background. To change the background of this design to pink click anywhere on the page and then go to this bar across the top and this colorful square here you can see when I hover over it that says background color so I'm going to click that and you've got some colors over here to choose from. Or at the top, you can add a new color and use the sliders to pick whatever color you want. That looks good, so that's the background sorted. Now we need to start adding elements to the design. As you can see on the original design, we have a white border. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the left-hand side and you can see you've got some options to choose from. We're gonna click on elements and right at the top here, we've got some shapes and we're gonna choose square. And we're just going to click on that and it's going to pop the square onto the page for us. Now the square is filled in, but I need the square to be empty with a white border. So again, to the top bar up here, we're going to click on color and we're going to change that to no color, which is this box with the gray and white squares and the red line through it. And you can see that has removed the fill from the box. So now we need to add a border and we're going to go to the top bar again, click on border style and we're going to choose the solid border option and then make it a little bit thicker with the border weight option, just sliding that across. And now that we've added a border, a new box has appeared on the top bar, which is called border color. So if we click that and change it to white, so we've now got a white box, but we need to resize it and put it into place. And we're gonna do that by dragging the points in the corner and making it the right size. And there you go, that's the border done. Now let's start working on the main design. And the first thing that we have in this design is the rabbit or the hair. So back to the elements bar on the left, up here we've got a search bar. Click on that and we're gonna type in jumping rabbit and press enter to search. And it's brought up some graphics of jumping rabbits, some photos, some videos. Now we're only interested in graphics. So I'm gonna click see all in the graphics section. And that's gonna give us a lot more to choose from. Now a lot of these graphics have a little crown icon in the corner. That means you can only use it if you're using the paid version of Canva. For this tutorial I've opened a brand new account using the free version just to show you that you can actually do this using the free version. So I'm going to scroll through and find one that is free. So after a bit more scrolling I've found this one here which I think will work really well. I'm going to click on that and it's going to pop it into the page again. And just like before with the square I'm going to resize it using the dots in the corners and I'm going to move it around by clicking on it and dragging it to where I want it. So I want it right in the center and I want it to be quite big. And at the moment it is black and in the original design it's sort of a dark red color. So just as we did before, we're going to click on the color option on the top bar and I'm going to add a new color. And I think that looks about right. Now behind the rabbit we need a moon. So it's the same thing again, we're just going to go to the search bar and search for moon. And again go to all graphics. And this one right here looks perfect. So I'm just gonna add that in again and resize it. Now you can see we've got a bit of a problem. The moon is in front of the rabbit, whereas we need it to be behind it. So we're gonna right click on the moon and we've got some options that pop up and we're gonna go down to layer and then choose center back. And that just pops the moon behind the rabbit. Now we're very nearly done with this, but we want to add some flowers and leaves to the rabbit. So back to the search bar and I'm gonna search for flower. 
I'm going to keep it nice and simple. This one looks ideal. Same as before, we're going to resize it and change the color. Now this element has two colors on it, so we've now got two color boxes to choose from. The center I need to be dark red and the petals need to be pink. And I need three of these flowers, so I'm going to click on the flower and you can see this bar pops up above it and we're just going to click on duplicate. I'm going to do that twice to give us two more and I'm going to move them into place. And finally, we need some leaves, so I'm just going to search for some leaves. And this one looks good. Now I need this to be rotated a little bit so that it's on its side. So this icon at the bottom with the arrows going round, just going to click that and drag it to the side to rotate the element. And we're going to pop that into place. And finally change the color. So you can see I've basically recreated my moon and hair design in a matter of minutes. It's really really easy to create unique designs in Canva but one thing I want to show you because I know a lot of people will want to know how to do this is how to add text to your design. So on the left hand side I'm going to click text and then on the purple add text box and this works the same as elements. You can click on this, drag it, move it around, use the corner points to resize. You can delete all of that text and type whatever you want. Maybe you want to add a name to it. And then back on the top bar where it says Canvas Sans, that's your font. And there are hundreds of fonts to choose from. Again, a lot of them are pro fonts, but you've got plenty of free ones to choose from as well. And of course, just like with the elements, you can change the color of your text really easily. And of course, when you finish your design, you need to save it. So in the top right hand corner, you've got share and then come down here to download. And you've got a few different file types to choose from. I recommend going for PNG and then just click download. So you're now ready to take your design over to Stitch Fiddle and turn it into a chart or written pattern. If you want to learn how to do that, go ahead and watch this video here. It's going to show you exactly how to do that and take you through the process step by step, breaking it down really easily.